Hurling Entertainment at Croke Park today, there was one other major incident which left thousands of spectators very unhappy. A crowd congestion in the Cusick stand forced a stoppage in that Dublin Kilkenny match while officials tried to sort out the situation. Here's Jer Canning. Well, the official attendance here at Croke Park this afternoon was just over 52,000, when the Leinster Council were probably expecting a crowd of around about 40,000. Now, the incident where the crowds were concerned happened in the first match, which was between Dublin and Kilkenny. 21 minutes into that game, the match had to be stopped for nine minutes. We wondered why. It happened because crowds of people were seen to come down through the various exits in the new stand. And with great discipline, they moved out onto the pitch, about 2,000 in all. Now, we understand this happened because there was a free admission for youngsters this afternoon over at that side, and one of the gates was not computerized. So there wasn't a clear record of how many people were in the stand at that particular time. Now, thankfully, a tragedy was averted because of the discipline and composure of the fans who were marshaled behind both goals and then moved into their new seats in the Hogan stand and various other spaces as well. But the game, as I say, was held up for nine minutes. It was a most amazing incident, something I haven't seen at Croke Park before. And afterwards, we spoke to the chairman of the Leinster Council, Jim Berry, just to find out exactly what had gone wrong. The uh, children are all admitted free today, uh, and they come on the, uh, the Cusick stand side of the field. Uh, I suppose the game was so popular today that an unprecedented amount of them came. They all came at around the one time, and at that particular time, the stand was pretty full. So we had to divert them over to the Hogan stand here. I, took, I think it took about 10 or 12 minutes to get about 2,000 children and some adults as well over to the Hogan stand. Uh, the referee had to stop the game, and for that we apologise to, uh, to the players in particular who had to stop and start the game again. I've got to put it to you, Jim, that during the week the Leinster Council were talking about maybe 30,000 people here for this game. There are already over 40,000. Surely isn't it the case that you underestimated your attendance here this afternoon? I would have to agree with you there. We underestimated. We saw 35 to 40 would get it, which would be, you know, normal for this type of game. But uh, at the same time, we're delighted that more came. But unfortunately, that little bit of a hiccup came. But again, it's a pity that, that the game had to be stopped and pity for the players and great credit to the referee who, who took the initiative and stopped the game at the time. We had the scene of young children being lifted across barbed wire and fences around Crow Park. From a safety perspective, are you happy with what went on? Ah, we would certainly have to look at a situation like this. As I say, we didn't anticipate it would happen, but that sort of thing shouldn't happen, and we will hope that it won't happen in the future. I think it's disgraceful. Um, the GAA knew it was a, a double-header game. They knew they were going to get big crowds. Um, you know, they should have either made the whole thing or take it, or else they should, Like, you think in this day and age that they would have some sort of a, a system on the turnstiles. You could actually tell the number of people that have come in and shut the turnstile. Like they were letting people in through the turnstiles. It was a full house. For about half an hour after it was apparent that, you know, the stand was full. People probably didn't bother looking for tickets for the game because the Hogan only was all ticket. Whereas, um, you know, they decided then probably just to pay in for the match. There was a massive crowd outside the back of the Cusick stand before the game. And we were like, we're on time for the game. And uh, it took us about maybe 10 or 15 minutes to get through the styles or to get even towards the styles and on the Cusick stand, you know? Apparently the problem was up to maybe 4,000 people were actually brought in through the styles, but there was no seats for them in the Cusick stand. Yeah, you see any of that? No? Up, they're all standing up in the bank, just couldn't get in there. What was happening, you know? So. It was a farce. What do you think about it? Even, well, even when we were queuing up to go into the Cusick stand, there was very, very few, few stewards. You know, to, to direct us where exactly to go. So everyone was basically just queuing up, no directions where to go, and the whole thing was a uh, sham and very poorly organised. Well, the idea of letting children in free to these matches is an admirable concept by the GEA, but nonetheless, as Kieran Maluli said there, when you then see these small children being hauled over barriers and by over wire fences, well, it's a daft situation. There must be some other way of doing this. OK, our final report tonight comes from Ulster, where Down and Derry met in the provincial...